Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today we're gonna play with the Vero VR76 radio. We've been playing with a whole bunch of these. There's a playlist linked up here for you. And I've been hoping to get a red one. And this, Vero, this is the last video. It's probably not the last video, but we're gonna see if I got a red one this time or not. And we're gonna do frequency copy and also figure out what that connector on the side of the radio is and what we can do with it. All right, is this it? Is this the one? Do I finally get it? And I can stop worrying about these and start giving them away? Oh, it's looking pretty promising so far. Belt clip, USB-C charging cable, antenna, and... Dun dun, 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 It's red! Woohoo! Awesome. Let's get that antenna on. This one here is a keeper for sure. Let's get the screen protector peel going. You know what? Am I, am I gonna do that? I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave this on just to annoy everybody. Let's see, that's, cause that's actually a really good screen protector. The only thing that is a problem is that this sticker is in the way. Oh, that didn't work. Oh well, I tried. I tried. This is why you peel these things off. I fought the law and the law won. So I want to talk about this connector here today and why you can't get your typical Baofeng mic into it. We'll get that fixed. But before we even do any of that, I need to get this battery taken care of because from the factory they ship with another peeler on it that makes it not work. That makes it take up less space in the box, but it also makes it not come on because it's an insulator. So what I wanna do with this radio is I wanna check out the frequency copy feature and I've got the radiodity, the brother, the sister radio, the GA5WB to the VRN76. That is actually a really nice looking red, look at that. I mean, would you want a black, plain black ordinary radio? They do make it in black in the Vero and also in the BTEC version. Or do you want this sexy red one? Hmm. That's a tough call for anybody but me. Awesome. All right, so here we go with a red radio. Let's see, menu. Okay, so first up is sync settings. And then we can send channels or we can receive channels. And I am going to receive channels. It says I have 16 remaining. We'll set that off to the side. And then on this radio here, I have a couple of channels programmed in. I have the ones that come from the factory and then I have the APRS channel, Dayton 2, Dayton, local repeater in Wisconsin, the 2585, the Columbia repeater in Missouri. Oops, that's the wrong button. That switched me out of, oh no, I still was in channel mode. These ones just don't have names. These are the ones that come from the factory. That one's got some signal coming in on it. So there's a couple of channels in there. And over here, let's cancel this real quick and I'll show you. Just the regular factory channels, 14 of them. But none of them have names and none of them are the ones that I programmed in. So let's go back, menu, sync settings, receive channels, menu, sync settings, send channels. And it's working. That's pretty easy. I don't know why I need to restart the sending channel part. Oh, it's restarting the sending of the channel. So I can program more than one radio over and over and over again. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we'll get out of there and then we'll go over here to our main menu. Look at that, there's the Columbia repeater, the 2585, W9WAR, Dayton, Dayton 2, APRS, two meter call, and then the unprogrammed channels that were already in there. That's a pretty slick little feature. That worked out super easy. I'm impressed. Now that I finally have the red one, we can get these things on the giveaway schedule on an upcoming episode of Ham Nuggets. It comes on Monday nights at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. Be sure you're there in order to get yours. Next up, frequency scan. Okay, in the manual, frequency scanning. Open the frequency scan menu, input the start frequency that you want, 
star key to switch the input frequency step, pound key to switch the scan step, press the left and right arrows to start scanning, left to scan the frequency down, and right to scan the frequency up. Let's give it a try. Okay, so we're at 12 point, we're at 25 kilohertz. Let's do 12.5, 50, 2.5, 12.5, and then pound to scan kilohertz. So what's the difference between the two of those? Frequency step and scan step. So we're at 12.5 kilohertz and five kilohertz, and we're gonna start at 146.85, and then it says to press the left or right arrow key to go up or down. All right, we're now scanning up. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go into frequency mode, and I'm going to do 146390 for, oh, there's somebody. And I'm just pressing the arrow key to keep on advancing. And then I press the left arrow key and it changed directions. There's those stations we just found. 146.390. Getting close. This is Kilo Mike 9 Golf testing the frequency scan of the Vero radio from the other radio from Radioddity. We should be getting close to our frequency here and it should stop at 146.390. We're at 146.6. Five, four, four, three, oh. Getting close. There we are. There it is. But we're also in like front end overload mode being that close. But it did find it, it did stop. Awesome. And then once you find a frequency, you can just hit the green button underneath of the save name there to save it and it'll let you save it to a channel. Then for tone scanning, it says, set the frequency to be scanned on the standby page, open the tone scan menu, it start working. Okay, let's do frequency mode. All right, so now on the standby page, which I believe is this page right here, I set a frequency of 146.390 with no tones. And we're gonna go into tone scanning and it should just start working is what I understand that to mean. So over here on this radio, we're on 146.390 and we're gonna set a tone. TX subtone, this one already says 67. So I'm gonna set a different one than 67. I'm gonna set 85.40 and then There it is, it found it. Nice. So next up, that connector on the side of the radio is not your typical K connector that you would use for your typical Baofeng mic or any other mic that you might have. And it's all about the spacing right there. So there's an adapter. Our friends over at VTech make this adapter and this works with the GMRS Pro radio as well as the UV Pro, the VR, N76 and the GA5WB from Radiodity. Let's get this thing set up. On the side of the radio here is a little connector. I'm gonna get this thing taken off and show you what's underneath of it. And there you go. There is the connector taken off and it has a waterproof gasket on the back of it. So once you take this thing off, you have lost your waterproofness. And also it has a retention on the screw, but not on the clip itself. So this thing here, you're gonna need to put it in your pocket so you don't lose it. And then if you take a look, there goes my bag. I gotta go get that. And then this is the K connector on the Baofeng mic. And if you take a look, the spacing is wrong. It just won't fit in there right. So that's where this guy here comes into play. Plug him in. And then you take your other end and your K mic and you plug that in. So now you've got this thing here going on and you've got your speaker mic. And you can see up here that it goes into transmit mode. Kilo mic nine golf. When I PTT the Baofeng mic. There you go. I gotta tell you, these are some of my favorite radios and they're gonna be my everyday radio for a while, especially when we get that PTT over K connector cable thing sorted out. There is quite a lot of functionality packed inside, quite a little package at a really good affordable price. Right now, BTEX got the best price on it. There'll be links in the description down below for all three of the radios that are wearing the same clothes. But for now, we gotta take a look at all these different colors. I am a bigger fan of the blue than I thought I was gonna be. It is really a toss up between the red 
and the orange. I do like both of those. Red's still my favorite. And then the two different yellows, the Motorola yellow and the regular yellow. And then the Coyote, the Tacti Cool version, and the Everyday Black. It's a beautiful set right there. The radio does not support Vox yet but I'm hopeful that they can update it in firmware. It also doesn't export any of the TNC connections at this point either. So if you have the ability to adapt that K connector to something already that implements a PTT circuit, you are in business. But for right now, running it with APRS Droid doesn't work, but that's kind of redundant anyway because this thing has a really awesome application for Android phones. It lets you do APRS and offline mapping and all kinds of messaging and signaling back and forth. And it is a pretty slick little app. I cover that in this video over here. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.